this is Mike Dushman from Stateless Code, and I'm here to do one of my why videos. I've got a whole series playlist, Why Stateless Code, and this is, um, I haven't done one in a while, so I figured I'd do one. And the topic came up in one of the recent um, videos I was doing in my nerddice.com series, where we build a Ruby on Rails 7 application for tabletop role playing management. And we are just now getting into the part of that series where we want to do some user experience research and user experience um, kind of usability studies, those sorts of things. And uh, the purpose of this one is why do your own? So uh, there are some, especially in the like professional user experience um, scientists who are very territorial about the idea of user experience that uh, you shouldn't even venture to think that you um, should do such a thing, you peon. Uh, I'm the only one who does it right, and um, I've got a ball neck that no uh, code can ever get developed because it has to go through the proper channels. Uh, a lot of this is inspired by uh, a great book uh, by Steve Krug, Don't Make Me Think, and this is the revisited one about web and mobile usability. Uh, this was actually sent to me by a coworker at my day job. So um, it, it's excellent feedback in that like I, everybody can get better at this. Uh, and I'm suggesting that you should too. So um, the idea of T-shaped skills, you wanna, you, you've got your specialty um, get better at that, obviously. You want to continue going deep in that. Uh, but at the same time, you want to branch out and build T-shaped skills. Um, the idea of, a, of a, the shape of a T, you, you have the depth in that one focus area and then kind of a breadth in the other areas where you're doing this. And I would suggest if you're going to start somewhere, start with user experience, uh, research, usability, uh, all of those things will make you better uh, at um, un identifying that you're building the right thing for your users. Um, the sh Show me a developer who has had everything they've ever done in their career handed to them by uh, perfectly vetted user experience professionals through all channels, and I will show you a liar. Uh, you, there are going to be times where you need to uh, make a call about the features that you're going to develop for and um, that you shouldn't be afraid to do that and do it badly. So uh, just like anything else, you can start somewhere uh, and iterate on it. Um, I'm 240 some odd videos into uh, the stateless code YouTube stuff. I'm a, I'm a better YouTuber now than I was when I started off, but I had a false start four years before I started where I was trying to make everything uh, perfect and kind of record the, the, the visuals of my screencast and then add in the audios and then produce it. None of those videos ever got published. Um, and I'm producing just by default better videos now than any of those others, even if I had put in all the effort to get them fully produced, would have been. You want to always be a noob at something. Uh, learn some. Be always be learning something new because just in terms of what it does to your brain, um, the, the learning process, especially the early stage learning process, where let's be honest with ourselves, you suck at it. That is going to be the, um, the, the there's stuff going on in the neurons and biology of your brain uh, that doesn't you can't replicate it on something that you spent uh, 10,000 hours on uh, and, and you're doing the 10,000 and first hour of it. You're, you're really good at it by that point where you've got the 10,000 hours in, but you need to um, just for your uh, learning and neurological health, you want to continue kind of keeping yourself young by trying to learn new things and doing them badly. And I would suggest that uh, usability be one of those things that you pick up because um, everything, even if you're using it for yourself, you want to understand the co concepts here. Uh, you want to be able to watch somebody uh, 
and, and it doesn't have to be all super formal and I've got to have the perfect market user or whoever. Like everybody uses the web. You can have your friend who knows nothing about the topic. Uh, hey, try to, uh, this is the page. Uh, what do you tr try to perform X task? And you'll be astonished by how they don't do it like you. Uh, and watching people to fumble through the uh, the process of trying to use your s stuff that you uh, you've designed and you've done the clicks and all that stuff um, a million times, it's humbling to see somebody like I don't even know how to get to the thing I want to get to. Like even like I can't even I don't even know how to log in. Uh, I don't even know how to sign up. Um, and I, I think they almost do this on purpose. I certainly don't know how to ask customer support for help. If you ever want to see intentionally poor usability, like d d try to find the contact us page on a, uh, on a commercial website. Like they, they bury that thing. Like if you put that much effort into making your software usable as they put into making that unusable, uh, you would, um, you, you could make a career out of it. But anyway, um, I'll have another video kind of where we talk about, at least from my perspective, my novice perspective, I'm, uh, maybe, uh, a thin paperback book ahead of where you might be. Uh, but that's, that's it. And I'm going to make mistakes and I'm going to record the mistakes. I have a video about why I leave the mistakes in. Uh, sometimes you learn, uh, that, that early stage learning too. You, you learn more when you mess something up, uh, than when you do it perfectly. And, uh, we have another why video about how nobody is Mozart. You don't just go and like, I'm going to write my perfect, um, symphony in ink, in, in pen ink. Uh, the first time there, there's been one Mozart in history and he's been dead for 250 years or whatever. Uh, so or 230, yeah, 232. Let's get pedantic on that. Anyway. So, uh, anyway, you, you want to, uh, whether if you're, and if you're good at usability, learn some coding, we've got 200 and, 40 some odd videos and counting, uh, try to branch out, uh, as much as possible. The idea is maybe you've got, uh, a labor of love type project and you want to be able to do the full end to end. You can't hire an employee, uh, and you want to learn to get better. Uh, one of the ways that you can learn to get better is to, um, to actually see how users use the stuff that you're, that you've developed. Uh, there is, all of us have the ability to get better in this regard. Um, whether you're uh, full stack, back end, front end, uh, there are people or system or people who write systems that use uh, your your software. And uh, understanding that those needs of those people uh, will make you a better developer. And there's there is no shortage of bad usability. Um, go you've probably thought of four or five websites and they're probably all government websites, but, uh, even outside of that, um, j just places where we, you, you've got terrible usability, um, or, or they're trying to force you to do something you don't want to do. And you've got to like go around your elbow to, to do the, the one thing that you want to do. Um, but you can also do it just because you, you, you're designing it for yourself and you're a user. Uh, and then, uh, another user, God has made that person different and they, um, they see the page differently. They, they have a different, uh, internal art algorithm for how they browse than you do. Uh, and you want to, uh, accommodate those things. And the, the more you see of other people trying to fumble through, uh, the stuff that you've, uh, you've built, um, uh, the, the better you'll get at designing for a, uh, a larger, um, audience of people for, and for better usability. Um, and the, 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 and there's always, um, I mean, you could build a career just out of taking, um, probably any production website and making it, uh, more usable. There are diminishing returns, but there are so much low hanging, hanging fruit 
that you can use to make uh, your projects better that uh, then I would suggest start starting with that book and then uh, you can we'll be publishing some more videos where I try to muddle through uh, some user experience research you can see like oh yeah he screwed that up I won't do that but you can still kind of get the the picture for how this is um, how this is done so uh, look forward to some some more stateless code stuff check out the other videos in the why stateless code um, playlist and um, we'll meet again code along on an end-to-end -end journey through the creation design and development of a Ruby on Rails application for managing tabletop role-playing games. We start from Rails New and will guide you along the journey of the entire life cycle of the application. You'll get to see real life, real world problems and challenges as we try to deliver value for our users. Visit statelesscode.com to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.